guys and welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing an updated flip through of my B6TN. So the last time I did a flip through of this was in my video on how to set up a B6 traveler's notebook because I was very new to this and wanted to, you know, share with you guys how to do it because I was having some difficulty finding other videos like for beginners, like I really didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I figured today I would give you an updated look at it. It has changed quite a bit since I last showed you guys. So first of all, here's the front and I did replace the elastic. So the elastic that originally came, you can see here is white and I just haven't gotten around to changing these. Not sure if I'm going to, kind of like the black and white. But the one that was on here had just gotten really dirty somehow. It was like, it looked like it had coffee on it or something. So I had a black one laying around and I decided to, you know, just replace it with the black one. I thought it was really cute. So first of all, these stickers on the front. So this is a bat bow from the Honey Bee Shop. This is a bat vinyl from Muse Lab. That is from the Honey Bee Shop. This is from the Adulty AF uh, Babe Box. Professional Napper. Love it. These three, I've talked about them before, but I'm always going to keep talking about them. These three are beautiful stickers. Um, original artwork by my sister-in-law, Kate. And uh, you should check her out on Instagram at ckatepaint. I'll put the link in the description, as well as Brush and Letter Co. She has a business with a friend where they do live art painting and stuff, and it's really cool. So anyway, you have your little pig here with the peach, the strawberry cow, my personal favorite, and you have the little blueberry rooster, the blue hen. So super cute. And then this is from Michael's. I picked it up not too long ago. It was one of those like adhesive patches and it's just, I don't know, it's just really cute. I thought it would be cute on here. And the back I want to also show you. So this is kind of like my two personalities, my personality crisis, if you will. Here on the front, you've got your like colors and it's cute. You do still have some, some spooky here with the bats and the black one. And then on the back, it's just like straight up, like, you know. So this is from Muse Lab as well. This is one of my favorite stickers ever. This is Honey Bee Shop. I made this with my Cricut. Now I did get some glue on it. I had a glue stick out and I got glue on it and it's like, I just need to take like some alcohol or something to get the glue stick off. But yeah, I made that with my Cricut. Uh, Personality Crisis 2.0 Babe Box from Honey Bee Shop and that one as well. All right, y'all probably like, shut up and open the thing. So here we go. Okay, that was totally like anticlimactic with the, okay, hold on, let's try that again. Da -da -da. Okay. So this is what it looks like currently when you open it. So I have in here in this pocket, I have this paper that it's from one of those paper pads from Michaels. Um, and it was a Halloween paper pad and it just had like, let's see if I take this off. It has like bats and moths and little like tubes and crystals and stuff and I just thought it was really cute and I wanted to have something as like a background and then this is from the personality crisis 2.0 babe box and I just thought it looked really cute here I have another one of these <laughs> bat bow stickers I have this super cute spooky mug clip from honeybee shop this is from shine sticker studio and this is one of my favorite little die cuts it just says this too shall pass. And I love it. So I just have this here just to kind of like remind me that this too shall pass, especially, whew, especially this past year. So yeah, I thought, um, I thought that would be just kind of cute to keep there in the front. Now here I added this very recently. So this is the acetate from one of the acetates from, um, the honeybee shop babe box. And this is a die cut from the honeybee shop and it's just it's just cute I mean that's really it and this is a piece of uh, scrapbook paper that I picked up at Michaels and it has cameras on it obviously and I thought that would be really cute to lead into the memory keeping insert that I have in here 
So this right here, I have it on the memory keeping insert because this was the very first thing that I ever cut with my Cricut when I got it. <laughs> so I got my Cricut for Christmas and uh, I was really overwhelmed and didn't open it for a few days. And then once I finally opened it, that was it. Now I can't stop. But this was the very first thing I cut. So it's just kind of like a memory. Um, and then I have my little Avery tab here, memory keeping. Um, this insert itself is from the Honeybee Shop. And then I just have this when you open up the memory keeping insert. I didn't like permanently put this down because I like to change out my journaling cards. Um, but I did just very recently add these strips and these are from scrapbook paper from Michaels as well. And I just thought it was really cute. Um, I like the like layer stuff and this little piece under here is from like this pack of paper that I got at Walmart a while back in one of my Walmart hauls that's here on my channel. Um, it's just really cute for just adding like texture and things. And then here on the front, I'm going to end up redoing this. Um, eventually, maybe, I don't know. Um, <laughs> we'll see, but that was like one of the very first things that I did. This doesn't want to stay down because it's like lifted. But yeah, I don't have it on there permanently because, you know, so I just have two pieces of washi on there. And I do have a piece of washi on the back to hold it on. And then just kind of a quick flip through of my memory keeping insert. This is what I have so far. I've been trying. I've been kind of slacking, but I've been trying uh, <laughs> to memory keep more. Um, and I, I absolutely love doing it. I just, I wish I had more time to do it. Um, between like work and you know responsibilities and then actually like planning and things it's sometimes just memory keeping falls on the back burner for me but that's funny because it's actually my favorite thing to do out of you know planning and everything I love all of it but I love memory keeping and I remember doing this whole thing with my husband's birthday and turning 30 and, and everything and um, this was like really therapeutic to do. Um, and so I did, you know, Jimmy's birthday here and then I had 2020 highlights, which I was really happy with, with how that came out. I don't have the greatest, you know, script handwriting, but I tried my best. And I just really enjoyed doing this because it was so fun to look back at a year, especially a year that was, you know, a hot mess uh, to say the least and just to look back at all the positive things that still happen and it was so weird to look back at these things that happened pre-rona as I wrote um, super, super weird and then to actually look through things um, that happen and you know remember <laughs> these things um, it was very very therapeutic for me um, and then I went in here and did quarantine memories and it was just fun. It was just so much fun to do. And it just reminded me why I love memory keeping so much. Um, then I went in here and did this page kind of uh, for, you know, animals for the year. And I mean, this was even more special because I worked from home, like from March all the way through the end of 2020 and still am. So I definitely got to spend a lot more time with my little girls. So it was fun to have pictures of that. I really like this one of her on my laptop. I got up for like three seconds and yeah. And so that's all I have so far. Um, I do still have a lot of photos to put in here for um, 2020 memories. I just haven't gotten around to it. But I still have quite a few pages in this insert. This is in the center. I, act <laughs> I didn't mean to put this here in the center. It actually was supposed to go like up here but I thought it was fine um doesn't really need to be dated so I've still got quite a few pages left in this insert so I'll be using this for a while for memory keeping and then I just have this picture of my husband and I from an event we went to and then little old club nintendo peach thing and then here's the back of that uh, dashboard and the back of the acetate and then I put my new sticker I got from Muse Lab that yeah it's awesome um this 
is I talked about before when I did my original flip through, but <laughs> this is actually a placemat that I got at uh, and that. If you have an and that, you should you should go, especially around Halloween, because the stuff they have. Oh my god. Yeah, these stickers I got at Magfest a few years ago. I wish I could tell you like the shop, but I have absolutely no idea. This was a free printable from Shine Sticker Studio. Super cute. It's just printed on regular old paper. Thought about printing it on vellum eventually, just haven't gotten around to it. This is a journaling card from the Fruity Sticker Co. And I just held it down with some Simply Gilded washi there and then the little bat washi from Simply Gilded as well. And then on the other side, I have this really cute journaling card from Mixie Cat Stuff. And I laminated these journaling cards just to make them a little more sturdy and more durable. And then I just used also some Simply Gilded washi to hold it down. And then we move into the mood tracker insert, which I don't have. Yeah, it's kind of embarrassing, but I haven't done one. So you, let me just show you. So it starts with September. So I actually glued this to the front because I didn't do one on the other side because I needed two pages. So I did September, really, really liked it. Came out super cute. Oh yeah, and I glued these together because the model liners bled through the paper. Then I did October and I did it on a weekly basis rather than daily. Um, and that was fun to do as well. Then I did December, um, kind of. So you see a lot of these are blank and I just really, there's no excuse. There's absolutely no excuse for me to not have pulled out a mild liner and colored a snowflake each day, but I didn't. So I like did it up through the 6th and didn't start again until the 23rd. So you know that's that's how that was going and then I haven't done one yet so I am planning on doing one for February uh, just took a break for November and January um, I really need to be better about it I just yeah I don't have an excuse just yeah all right so here's the back of the dashboard that surrounds the mood tracker insert also uh, this insert here is from Sweet Kawaii Design, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's from Sweet Kawaii Design at Michael's. And then this cute little boba koala sticker I got at Box Lunch uh, when I went to a mall one time. And then this super cute journaling card from the Honey Bee Shop. Both of these are um, from the Personality Crisis. And then this absolutely beautiful purple washi is from Simply Gilded. And then this clear washi is from uh, honeybee shop and then here's the back of my <laughs> placemat that is a makeshift uh, dashboard this had this really cool sticker from the homeless gospel choir on here a band I really like and then just a random once more with love neat coffee sticker I really don't know why I put that there and a random bow sticker from personality crisis so this I'm really happy with with how this looks so this is another acetate from the Honey Bee Shop Babe Box. And this is from Bookgazer, I want to say, off the top of my head. And it's just absolutely beautiful. And I knew I wanted to layer it. And I thought this looked so pretty layered. So this is just a cheap piece of scrapbook paper from Michaels. Um, it is only one sided. So I have this. I can put a journaling card here and really do whatever I want. But I really like how that looks layered. And then we move into the journal. Um, and I'm not going to show you the journal because it's very personal, but <laughs> um, it is super cute and I do want to show you how much I've used. So I've used this much of the journal and I have this much left. So I'm just over halfway through it um, and I'm actually going to move into a different journal soon, I'm thinking. I'm still figuring out what I want to do. But um, I've really been inspired by Shauna Klingerman to, um, to try art journaling. And I really want to get a bullet journal. I really am looking at an Archer and Olive notebook to start art journaling. Um, but I'm thinking I still want to do journaling in here. Just not like decorate it. Like just literally just functional like 
get it out just right without having to think. Um, because with these, I've been really trying to decorate and like, you just kind of see, um, all the pages are decorated. And so I can't just sit down and like pour my feelings out immediately. I have to decorate it first. So I think I'm going to keep a journaling insert in here, even when I fill this up and just have it, maybe I'll just call it brain dump or like venting or something just to like be able to quickly jot down my thoughts without having to think about it, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to move into uh, an Archer and Olive once I finally, I'm just, I don't want to spend the money right now on it, but I think I might treat myself. Um, and then this, I cut out my Cricut because you know, you get a Cricut and you just want to cut out everything. And this was just a piece of, it's actually that same paper from the front here on the background of this. It's actually that same paper. Um, and I just cut it out and it took me forever with the glue stick to get that down. But And then that is the back of that. And then here in the back, I just have, and I have room for another insert. Um, and I just stuck this piece of vellum in here. And I don't really know what I want to use this for. I mean, I have this other band here. I could fit a whole new insert in here. I'll probably just end up putting um, maybe another like blank insert in here as a backup for like brain dump or whatever for when my uh, journal fills up. I don't really know. Um, I just, I have everything in here that I want. So, and then here in the back, I just have some extra stuff. So this is just a little shaker that I made using a, um, a little print that I bought at MAGFest, super cute from Like a Strange. And then these are just the scraps from the scrapbook paper. Um, so I like to, you know, tear these and use them for layering and things. So I just tuck them right away in this back pocket. And this cover, I didn't mention, but this cover is the original B6TN from the honeybee shop. It actually isn't sold anymore, which is like kind of cool. Cause it's like, <laughs> I don't know. It's like vintage now. Um, this was the first B6TN that they had to my knowledge. And the ones that they have now, I have the lilac and the black. Um, they're a little bit different, but um, yeah, I really love it. And I put this pen loop on here. Also, obviously from Honeybee Shop with the bat bows and then Justice for Brianna Taylor. I love this beautiful sticker. This is from, I believe this is from Shine Sticker Studio. I'll, I'll correct it on the screen if I'm wrong. And then this is a picture I took in Philly sometime over the summer when I went to visit a friend. It was really beautiful. So yeah, so that is my B6TN. So this is my, I like to call it my catch-all B6TN. I do have three uh, traveler's notebooks now, which is crazy uh, considering this time last year, I didn't even know what a traveler's notebook was. And I'm going to show you very quickly, since I have this right here, I'd like to show you. So this is the black, so you can see how different it is. So these are both from the honeybee shop, same size or B6. You can see that this older one is like this vegan leather, and this is also vegan leather, but it has that like... I can't even think of what this is. It's that textured, y'all know what I'm saying. I've, it's been a long day. So anyway, so this is the, uh, what I've dubbed the MCR B6TN. And I have a whole series here on my channel on how I created this, why I wanted to create it. Um, it's a project that's like really special to me and I love it. Um, it's a little embarrassing, but I haven't written a single word in it yet. And I'm gonna give y'all a little sneak peek. I am gonna have um, a video coming up on it soon once I actually have done some more to it. So I have decorated it. And I, you know, I did a video where I decorated it. I've gotten a few things since then. Yes, I did put a pin directly in the cover. It kind of hurt my soul, but I wanted it on there so bad. So there it is. Um, <laughs> I have these stickers in here I haven't used yet. This is a beautiful, I, I love this freaking pin. A uh, beautiful pin from Natty Cat Pins. That's me when I was 14. So I just kind of layered that in there with a picture of my concert ticket, not the actual ticket. Because the actual ticket is in a frame that is with a poster on the wall right here to my right. Um, and so this is a piece of vellum. And I've talked about this when I set up the MCRB 16N 
Um, so I will link that video in the description. You know, check it out. I just wanted to kind of like briefly show you. Um, this art is from my friend Ainsley. And I just did this last night. I added these stickers onto this cover. And these stickers are from Karen Cunningham. And I will put, um, I'll put her information in the description. She's an amazing artist and she has all this My Chem stuff. And I had a little fiasco last night with this. Just, I'm, I'm gonna end up covering it up. But yeah, as you can see, I haven't written a single word in here yet. I have put some washi. Um, <laughs> I really love how this came out on the vellum. This is a printable from Bare Necessity Sticker Co. And then this is my revenge insert. And then I did decorate this a little bit more. Um, I had this leftover paper and I just wanted to use it. So I just cut out the words, um, you know, just to use that there. And then this is from Honeybee Shop. This was, this was from a spare uh, CD booklet that I had. I thought that was really cool. And then a little picture from a Hot Topic ad that I got in the mail, you know, little Pop Gerard. And then there's the center. And I really like how this came out on the back. So this is from the CD booklet as well. And then I put the other side and I layered it with this beautiful sticker from, oh my God, look at it. Look at that hollow. And then that hollow. Mm. That's from Honeybee Shop as well. Now this is, this is stupid, I know. Um, this is return themed, so this is going to end up going on an insert that is for the return of my chem. I just haven't made it yet, so that's the reason it's, I just needed a place to put it, so I put it in front of the Black Parade insert. I know it makes no sense. It's fine. Um, and so here's the Black Parade insert, and I did put this sticker on here last night. Super beautiful. I just love it. And that was another cutout, so <laughs> I, from that Hot Topic ad, I thought that would be cute. And then that's obviously from Honeybee Shop. On the center, we just have some washi there. And then I put another uh, sticker there. And I just, I love the candle. It's so perfect. If you know anything about like the current My Chem era, like Return and the candles, it's perfect. But I will, yeah, that's not gonna stay there. It's not gonna stay on the, the Black Parade insert. And then we have the Danger Days insert. And I put my beautiful Look Alive Sunshine sticker there. And I did actually put a button like through the cover. Still not sure how I managed to do it without ripping the paper, but I did it and it's never going anywhere. I did this last night and I just love how it came out. Um, so I, <laughs> I created this collage. I created this collage in college. It's hard to say. Um, I was taking a Photoshop class and they, you know, one of the assignments was to, you know, learn how to do like masking and, and uh, you know, make a collage in Photoshop with various images. So I wanted to do a Danger Days era collage. So I did. And uh, that's this. So I dug it up and I printed it out and just used some of this washi from Honey Bee Shop. I love it. And then a sticker that I made of my homemade uh, ray gun that I got signed by Gerard. So yeah, and then that's the back. And then I have this little picture tucked away in the back here. I look so dorky, but that's me and Gerard. Um, <laughs> and that's it for now. So I am going to have to jump band. And that's the reason that I haven't made the insert for return yet. I haven't made the one for the breakup period. Um, I'm still trying to decide what I want to do, but I definitely, I need something for the breakup period because that's like a significant, because even though the band wasn't together, like the members were doing things individually and it's a very like memorable time in my life. So I want to commemorate that, but I'm going to need some bands. I'm going to need to jump band. So I'll get to that eventually, but yeah, just wanted to kind of give you guys a quick update on the MCR B60N. I promise I'm going to actually put pen to the paper soon and, uh, you know, actually use this thing I created. And then I have a video game themed B60N, the lilac cover from Honeybee Shop. Um, 
yeah I have that as well and I will definitely be showing you guys that very soon here on the channel but that is it for today so I hope you guys enjoyed this updated flip through of my B6TN um, I've really been liking this system a lot and I don't know why every time I go to put this back on like I can't get my keychains the way I had them there we go okay <laughs> um I really am loving this whole setup I love the size so much not so much for planning I could never see myself planning in something this small I just need something a little bit bigger but that's just me personally um but as far as as journaling and memory keeping and mood tracking and everything it's just it's so perfect it's just such a great size it's easy to take with you it's just fun it's just fun to tuck all this stuff away in this nice little book and I'm so thankful that that Shan from the honeybee shop did that she did a just a, a little flip through on her stories one day months ago and as soon as I saw it I was like that's it that's a solution to like I've been having I was struggling with like memory keeping because I had like the giant you know the big memory keeping book from happy planner and like that works but it's too big and like it's I don't know like it's fine for certain things but as far as like more you know um like daily and weekly memory keeping it's just too big and I saw it and I was like that's it that's what I need so thanks Shan so yeah now I have three of these bad boys and the lilac one is in another room uh, but I'll definitely show you guys that very soon but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please give this video a like if you did and subscribe if you have not i'm almost at 150 subs and that like blows my mind um thank you guys so much i know it's like nothing in the world of youtube but it's a lot to me and you all mean a lot to me so thank you so much uh you know stay safe stay healthy wear your mask um yeah and i'll see you next time